YouTube welcome to my channel if you are new and today I have another video for you guys so today I have a thin waist a big booty workout so I'm gonna show you guys some exercises for getting that hourglass shape you know what I mean the like best way to get that curvy hourglass shape is you got to work out your glutes and also your lats so that's how you're gonna give the illusion of a curvier body by working out your back and making your lat muscles bigger and more defined it's going to give you that upper hourglass curvy shape and then growing your glutes or working out the muscles in your glutes is going to help give that hourglass lower body shape some people are just blessed with an hourglass body shape but others are not so i'm gonna show you guys a workout to you know get that thin waist but a big booty body. Also, I just want to say happy holidays to everyone. And also, I'm having a massive Boxing Day sale on my training website. And also, my Booty Builder Band Plus Training Program bundle is 30% off the original price. So, if you've been wanting to stank one of these bad boys, and I highly recommend getting one right now during the sale because this will only last till tomorrow or maybe two days. Right now, we are getting low on stock. So if you want one of these, highly recommend because we won't be restocking these. Each band does come with a six week resistance band focused training program. So I'll give you some ideas on what kind of exercises or workouts you can do with this Fabric Booty Builder band. And also I have been using this band in all my glute workouts because it has been such a game changer for my glutes. It just activates my glutes so much and my glutes are always so, so sore after a workout. When I use this now, I used to never get sore whenever I worked out glutes. And then after I started using this band, it's like sore every single time I work out glutes. And then the next morning, it's even more sore. So yeah, definitely check out my website if you guys are interested in getting this band because they're going at a really good price right now. Also, if you don't follow me already, definitely follow me on Instagram. It's just Addict Lulu. And if you follow me there, you can see what I'm up to when I'm not on my YouTube channel. So you can see my Instagram stories, Instagram posts, or videos. So yeah, if you want to stay in touch with me when I'm not on my YouTube channel, then definitely follow me on the gram. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this workout and let's just jump straight into it. So first, I'm going to show you some exercises for building that lower hourglass shape. So the first two exercises are a superset. So the first exercise is banded hip thrusts. So if you want to build your glutes, quit doing squats and start hip thrusting. The barbell hip thrust is the king of all glute exercises. This is the exercise you want to be doing in order to get that big booty. I'm sure most of you guys have performed barbell hip thrust using just weight, but weight isn't the only way to light your glutes on fire. So fabric resistant bands are also an amazing glute sculpting variation to throw into the mix. So here I'm adding in my fabric booty builder band into the mix to make this exercise even harder and adding a fabric resistance band can also help to target the side booty thus it will help target all aspects of your glutes so the next exercise in the superset is just barbell hip thrusts without the band so the steps for this exercise will be the same as for the last exercise. They're both hip thrusts, except for the last one, you want to place the fabric band just proximal to the knee, whereas for this one, you won't need a fabric band at all. Place a thick bar pad or squat sponge onto the barbell. Roll the bar over your thighs. Position the barbell right above your pubic bone. Then you want to set your feet underneath your knees so your legs form a 90 degree angle at the top of the movement. And then you want to push your feet through the floor and drive your hips up into full extension. Yeah. 
Next exercise is sumo pause deadlifts. These are killer guys and it's a variation of the sumo deadlift and it's great exercise to build and strengthen the muscles of the legs and glutes. Adding pauses as seen in the pause sumo deadlift is an effective intensity technique used to strengthen the glutes. The pause increases the time under tension of the gluteus musculature and forces the lifter to really be able to control the weight they are using. So for this one, your stance should be wide, wider than shoulder width apart. You want to push your hips back and hinge forward until your torso is nearly parallel with the ground. Reach down and grasp the bar using a shoulder width. You want to inhale, pull up slightly on the bar while allowing your hips to extend forward. And as you extend forward, you want to pull up on the bar and drive through the whole foot and focus on pushing the floor away. And then continue with the movement until your hips are fully extended. Then you want to squeeze your glutes at the top of the movement. Then you want to push your hips back pause at just above the knee and continue to hinge forward yeah you don't give a damn about what i do you think you're the coolest who would ever wanna be like you you left my heart in pain yeah you don't have to admit it now you want me to stay but i can barely the next two exercises are superset. So the first exercise is Smith Machine Kickbacks. I actually enjoy this variation a lot more than cable kickbacks. I find I can feel my glutes activating a lot more when I perform them on the Smith Machine like this. So this exercise is great for targeting the largest muscle group in your glutes, which is the gluteus maximus. And if you want to grow your glutes, this is the primary muscle you want to be focusing on. So for this exercise, you want to put down a mat. Uh, just to protect your knees and then you want to kneel on the ground on all fours Then you want to place the arch of your foot against the bar and almost have your foot in an angled placement So that way it prevents the smith machine bar from turning and hooking back onto the clips Then you want to push up and back using your glutes And now I'm super setting the last exercise with banded kickbacks. I love doing this exercise as a superset because I can really feel the activation in my gluteus maximus and it gives such an incredible burn after performing the Smith machine kickbacks. So now we're going to be focusing on making that upper body have that hourglass figure. So I'm going to be showing you guys three exercises for the upper body. So the first one is wide grip lat pull downs. So if you really want to make that upper body curvy, I highly suggest doing wide grip lat pull downs. A wider grip helps to target the lats more. So for this one, you want to grab the bar with palms facing forward. A wide grip is wider than shoulder width and you're basically holding onto the ends of the bar. Bring your torso back to about 35 degrees so you have a curve in your back and stick your chest out. Bring the bar down so it touches your chest and drive your elbows back and focus on squeezing the back muscles. Fifth exercise is wide grip straight arm lat pull downs. This is also another exercise that is great for targeting the lats. This exercise is great to do right after performing wide grip lat pull downs. For this one, you want to have a wide grip and you want to have a slight bend in your elbow. And using your lats, you're going to pull down the bar down to your thighs. The last exercise is close grip straight arm lat pulldowns. 
This one also targets the lats a lot and is a great finisher to the last two back exercises. These three exercises are amazing for the lats because the primary muscle of focus is the lats. So for this one, you want to have a close grip that is a lot closer than shoulder width apart. And once again, you want to have a slight bend in your elbow and using your lats, you're going to swing the bar down to your thighs. workout i hope you guys enjoyed that and once again if you want to get this bad boy then definitely check out the link down in the description box and yeah i will talk to you guys in my next video